What's up, Nightlife? Nick here, Nightlife Kennel. January 20th, 2018. We're heading over to local coon club now. Go sign up. We got a pound hunt tonight. It's been, goodness, probably two weeks since I last hunted. Um, I had the flu, so all last week I hadn't been able to hunt, and then we've had terrible weather for hunting. So sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. But we're going to head over here now, put our money down, and then we're going to go hunting probably Polk County, North Carolina on some private land. See if we can uh, get us a coon treat up with hide tonight. Um, also got another dog, JJ, with us. He's a one-year-old. So hopefully we get some meat down on top of him, too. Get a coon, come back to the coon club, and uh, get away then. We might win a little bit of money. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry it's been so long since we had a video, and hopefully we get you some good footage tonight. Very high. Now get some coon. We got the pound hunt tonight, so we're hoping we're gonna get a little bit of meat. Don't know if we will or not. Got the tech tube on hide here. We got JJ turned loose. Of course, I got on my big dog Genesis light. So you ready, high? Ready? Get him. Kicking dirt. Right, so we got hiding JJ down here. Her on the big creek, about the intersection there. Around 150 yards. We normally start striking right there or a little on down from there. So, see what happens. Alright, so we got the uh, hiding JJ up about 400 yards. We, uh, we haven't heard any kind of strikes or anything yet. Hide had went down to the river, foot right handed. Come back up this small creek and then uh, left handed up this ridge. So he's almost top of the ridge now. So it's a creek off to the right of him. It don't show up on the map because it's so tiny. But uh, there is some water over. So we'll see. Alright, so he's only 300 from us now. But he was about a mile from where we cut him at. He went in, got on some land, what's supposed to be on. Then he cut right handed, come over here this guy's land who I don't have permission to hunt on, but he's always let me go in and get my dogs, and if we got meat he lets us shoot out. So, walking in the hide now, he is treed, JJ's there, we'll see you guys at the tree. And a few on the yards from him now, walking with this big dog Genesis right here. Very nice walking up. Hey, old JJ. Come to us. Across this little creek here. Hides up on the hill. I don't know if y'all can hear him. Across this creek. Well, little hides tree. Good solid tree. I will say hi, Zachary, on this one. Problem is, it's a big old den. Uh, we'll shine through pretty good, but pretty sure it's in there. Alright guys, so you see JJ up there. We just uh, took the dogs. Went to that last tree. is uh, about 800 from a truck. We drove around about 300 from them. Walked in on a nice guy's land. He gave us permission to go in there and uh, knock it out if we had to meet. But as you see in the video, we uh, we had a den tree, um, big bona fide den. So we've uh, collected the dogs, and we drove uh, over here to the other side of the county now, and we cast in up this creek. You see this creek right here, and uh, JJ's up there. Looks like he's smelling around a little bit, and we got hide hide through his head up right here and took off like he smelled something. So. Maybe it won't be long. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get a little bit of meat. Uh, it is uh, almost 1030. We've got to be back at the club by 1 o'clock with a coon if we get one. So we got time. Be back with him in a minute. Got hide. He's about 190. Locating. He might try to sit down a tree here in a second.
he's on something that sounds real cold. See what he makes of it. Looks like he's wanting a tree. Might be checking it. You see on the tech too how he's moved around. Kind of come off of it now. Going down the hill a little bit, checking. Going back. He's kind of unsure of it. I'll give him a little while to make sure. So he's checked this tree twice. He sounds a little more confident now. He's 160 yards from us. Kind of steep up to there, and I think it, I think it caught on fire a few years ago, and so a bunch of briars have grown up in the place of all the lower vegetation. So it's not far, but it ain't gonna be a fun walk. So we're gonna give a few more minutes, let you know if we walk that way. So, like I told you guys. Real thick bar ticket going through here, so Will's gonna cut us a whooping stick. He's gonna go ahead of us and beat us out of trail, hopefully get this dog a little bit easier. He ain't about 140 from us, but I don't know if y'all can see that all the way to him, so. We got the outdoor edge knife out. So we go up here top, hide right there. He was treating on this tree. You got a big hole in the bottom. But we can see up it. We don't see anything in it. But also, there's a bunch of holes in the ground. One right there, two or three more down the hill. There's a ton of big boulders. And he keeps treating on these boulders too, underneath them. So I think, thank Coon's here. I just don't know where he's at. He's not in the tree. I don't know. Coon's up here somewhere. He's got all these holes in the ground. We'll see. All right, guys. So up here at this tree, um, got a big hole in the bottom of it. Y'all can see that right there. Um, the tree goes up about three foot, makes a hard turn. You can see about three foot up this hole, but you can also see where the hole comes out at the top of the tree up there. Um, Pretty good little way, so I'm gonna stick the camera up there and let you guys see up this hole, see what you can see. I uh, can't see the coon, but like I said, you're gonna see it three foot up, and there's a hole probably 20 foot up there that it comes out at. So, take y'all in the tree. Y'all can see where it makes a turn up there. <sighs> Coon's pulled something on us. I stream was stream pretty good on it, then he come off of it, but he come back, so we think it's up there. Anyway, second day of the night. There's also holes all around this place in the rock. It's a perfect place for a coon den. Uh, I'll, uh, might do a little squall and see if I can get him to come out. Oh right there guys. And Right in there is where it comes out at. We can't see that far up it. Let's step back and do a little squalor. Don't 
like we're gonna be able to talk him out of it. <clears throat> there, right there is where the hole comes out at. Well, I definitely think he's in there. Who uh, Dan's not? Yep. Yes, it's about uh, 11:37. We gotta be back at the club by one. We didn't get any coons or not. We got two dens. And the last day was a heck of a day, and to get out of that place at Briar spot, it was horrible. But uh, oh, I done good tonight. He did tree two. Just they decided to go to their beds. So we're going back to the club with no meat, but we always go back and say hey to everybody. So we're gonna head on back, and call it a night. I appreciate you guys watching my channel. Sorry, it's been a while since I posted anything. Like I said, have been down with the flu and stuff, but. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you don't mind, click like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you don't mind, in the meantime, tree one for me. See you guys.